Okay, so now the program is uh, recorded on my screen, and uh, Scott is listen to me right now. Uh, if you speak, he can't. Uh, okay, hello, Scott. Yes, yes. Okay, Scott. Uh, when you open this one, the moving company uh, presentation, you get uh, you will find three sections. The first section is the intro, where you find the the intro slides. The second section will will contain the video any different video and these are uh, the video in the form of slides so you can uh, put uh, this as a slides style or you can just uh, put a video mp4 video and they will teach you how to do that and the, f and the final uh, section you will uh, find the outro slides contain the outro slides and how the animation and everything else okay uh, let's get an example uh, I will send you this uh, one, the intro, outro slides, the list of the slides for the intro and outro uh, process. Okay, you can see here there is more than uh, 35 uh, slides. You can uh, put any one of the of those slides into uh, the final video here. For example, we uh, choose this one. You get on the copy. You got a copy of the slides. The specific slide you want you choose any slide uh, you want to use you can uh, see uh, the slideshow and see the animation of every slide then after you choose the slide you go to the you return to the main presentation here you go for example to the enter slide here and you put past and then you got this this uh, slide into the uh, the main uh, the main intro section. Okay. Uh, uh, the second uh, step, you remove the, the this because uh, it's uh, not nothing. And then, uh, if you want to change the the color, you can simply go to here and uh, you know that's not. Uh, yeah, you got the mou mouse uh, right click. And you go to the former background, and then you can choose. Okay, uh, maybe Scott, you are using uh, uh, PowerPoint 2013, so uh, it's uh, like seems to be the same. You'll find it here to the to the to the right. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, after you put the intro slide, you turn to the slides list, and you go to the outro slide section. You choose one example, you got copy, and then you go to the outer section, and you go to the past. You remove this one, and there we are. You create an example, exactly, and then the final step is uh, to render the video. You go to the file and uh, you will find the uh, export on your uh, version 2013 you will find something like export the video and that's all okay this in case if you want to keep uh, the video here as a slides style slide form but if you want to uh, use a specific video for example you have mp4 video or something you can easily add it to the to the slide here to the video section you go to answer then you go to the video choose video from my computer from file here and you go to the specific destination of the video in on your computer for example here I'll go to the file and movers for example here and you go answer And then you make uh, the video fill screen here as long the the pr the slide slide okay and then maybe in some cases you ha you want um, uh, yes by the way you go to the video to, uh, tools playback and you put automatically so the video will play automatically this is the first step the second you go to transitions and you make sure to put this option enable 
So after the pr the video will end, the presentation, uh, the the slide, the slide will automatically go to the next one, which is the outro sections. Okay. And uh, I told you uh, maybe in some second, maybe in some cases, you want to um, to uh, crop a little bit the the video. Maybe you want uh, to uh, use just a specific part of the video here. The whole video uh, is making you uh, interest. Okay. <coughs> here, here you uh, create you uh, set up the start time and the end time. That's mean which part of the video you want to uh, use it in your presentation or you want to use the whole uh, the whole video section okay it's up to you and there we are here we are again so now the your presentation is ready you can uh, again export the video exactly it's uh, uh, yeah oh the transition yeah the, yeah, yes, yes, that's true. You have to uh, add the transitions here. You can uh, choose anyone you want. Okay. Then first one, the the third one. Okay. Maybe in some cases you want to use uh, um, two or three. Intro slides, maybe it's not uh, that that problem. You choose uh, which uh, slides you want uh, to use in your uh, in your video, and then uh, you got uh, past here. For example, you want uh, to edit some script, and you don't have uh, the much uh, space on the same slide. You can uh, just uh, put uh, one of the slides here, one example, and then you can change the can change the as you want the text the script as you want here okay so the hard work on all of this is just creating this this huge quantity of uh, slides which is already given to you so because the animation is uh, it's um, the animation uh, is the the hardest part of creating this thing uh, of course the same for the outro here but by the way there is no different between the intro and the outro slide okay because on the uh, on the intro slide you can uh, just here copy this slide here past it here and then you can uh, take this uh, this information here it's not uh, it's uh, in animation at the at the end you understand me i think right okay it's uh, it's not that okay it's not that problem i mean uh, you can uh, you can play with it uh, as much as you want it's not a that big deal so you can see that the all of these can be an intro slide or can be an outer slide so we have eliminated choices after you boot up and setting all uh, your uh, your slides here everything else intro slide the video and the outer slide you go to a file and export uh, your video as uh, as MP4 video. Okay, I think that's all. That's how uh, you can use the slides list to creating uh, the intro, outro, and uh, the whole video and how to create to export it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> now we get here and stop.